So I thought it was important to do this update video on Blender's transform tools using the gizmos. And for any users there that come up from Max, obviously that you know they're, they're just not getting the the G, R, and S hotkey translation in Blender, and would rather use sort of more traditional gizmo. And you, you know you might have watched my other video on transformations and. Um, I kind of touched on this, but I thought I'd go into more depth and show um, a sort of a walk around for this issue. So let's say, you know, you have your object here and you select the, the move tool. And then when you try to marquee select, you'll see that uh, strangely coming from Max, um, you're moving in screen space here rather than marquee selecting. So what you have to do is either select the box tool and then the transformation tool disappears or else you can press B do your box select once and then move around but this is kind of clunky as well because you have to keep switching between tools and then it's even worse in sub object mode because you want to you know select your element there sub object elements and you have to do this and then you can go into move i'm doing that with the space bar and we'll have this default that will show that in a minute in the preferences. Um, so then you move and then you want to select something else. And when you start doing that, you're still moving this in screen space. So you have to go in, select the box, and then go back in, select the move or rotate your scale and blah, blah, blah. So it's, you know, it becomes very frustrating and it's a workflow killer. Um, so there is a, um, a walk around I found out recently, hence the update video. So in the edit preferences and key map, and here's the my default spacebar action is set to that tools menu. So that's where to set that if you didn't get that yet. So in the key map here, come down to 3D view and then object mode and then select box and then just copy this text here. So control C. And then if you go down to 3D view move, you just paste it into this box. And the same then for rotate and scale as well. And don't worry about doing this because you can just click restore here and then it'll go back to the defaults. So that's object mode and then mesh here is edit mode. So the same here, select box, that's the same text, view3d.select underscore box. So then just do the same thing. Get down to move, paste it in, rotate, paste it in. If you're not seeing these first, just um, there's going to be you're going to have to open this up first, and let's paste it in there. So that's that's it done. Um, the, the three and three, the six of them are done, and as I said, you can restore them whenever you like. And now, I select the object. You can see, yeah, I'll just click Shift D to duplicate. You can see that I can select with the marquee selection, and the transform gizmo stays there. And that's going to be the same then in edit mode. I can marquee select. So the one, um, the one caveat is that you can't. Once you hold shift down, conflicts Blender's uh, transformation system. There, when you're using the hotkey system, you, you hold shift to negate one of the axes by pressing shift, and whichever axis you don't want to move on, so you can move on two axes at once. So that's why the shift isn't recognised. So um, I can't. I don't know of a way yet to do that, but. Now a walk around is just to press C for circle select and then you can just add and right click and then move. Or you can also just press B and that will just give you the box select once. But if I'm, hold, if I'm holding shift and I can't additively select. So that's just a little sort of a walk around I found. Um, so that's basically it. I just thought it was important to, um, to show that. And also there's this square add on that basically does the same sort of thing. Yeah, this bloke's realized that this is a problem and he's made this add-on to basically do the same thing with some extra features as well and he's still working on it so um, check that one out as well and that's pretty much it so i'll just leave it at that for this video all right then cheers thanks good luck